If you're thinking of building an online business or have struggled to do so, this tutorial is for you. I'm Alice Siba, and on behalf of Yusuf and myself at eKit Hub, we wanted to share this to help you eliminate the mistakes that many people make and get you on the right track. Now, if you don't know it by now, online marketing is all about the audiences audience, but not all audiences are created equal. It's important to understand who your target customer is so that you can build an audience of people who want to buy what you have to offer. That means you want to create and share content that the ideal buyer would consume. We actually talk about this a lot in our Big Growth Shortcuts and Templates Club that you can find on our website, but for now, let's give you a good starter plan here. So there are three important components to building an audience if you want to build a long-term sustainable business that sells products. Now first you want to build your traffic, second you want to grow your mailing list, and then you want to nurture your audience and that list. So let's look into each of those. First of all, build traffic. Gaining tra traction you know, to a new business through traffic, it's not always easy, but consistent effort pays off over time. Always keep in mind that a little work each day over a year pays off much more than being frustrated with no progress and being inconsistent as a result. So work on it a little each and every day. Ultimately, you want your, most of your traffic to end up on your own website and have those visitors funneled into a signing up for your mailing list, which we're going to talk about in the next part of this, this quick tutorial. So whether you use social media, YouTube, or another site to build your initial following, have a plan to leverage your own virtual real estate, in effect, your website. Uh, avoid building your business solely on other people's platforms if you want long-term sustainable success. If you rely on other people's platforms, you are, you know, at the mercy of their algorithms and you also, you know, you're building their platform rather than building your own business. As you know, we publish lots of fully editable content for you. Or, or we call it like private label rights, PLR, that you can use in your own business. So let's use the kind of content we make for our customers to you know, give you some ideas on how to grow your traffic. Now, obviously you can publish all kinds of content, any kind of content to attract your audience. We're just giving examples. I mean, we, we do done for you articles, so you post those to your blog, you can publish snippets or full pieces on social media, whatever is appropriate for the conversation you're having. Uh, the year and uh, you know use we have poster graphics that have inspirational sayings you know lots of people make these um, they share a quote or things like that but go the extra mile because they are you know share why you're sharing this inspirational saying what does it mean and also think about how it relates back to your products so that you are creating a conversation with your target customer. Uh, you can repurpose the reports we provide and articles into videos, use them, you know, use them as a script and add your own thoughts. It's done for you. You can edit that script, share exam, add your own examples and personal thoughts, but a lot of the work's done for you. Uh, we also make lots of coloring pages and those are a good traffic draw actually. You know, people are adults and children often uh, are alike, you know, looking for free paid coloring pages to download and print. Uh, also, we include lots of checklists and worksheets, and those are handy printables, you know, for doing and managing various tasks, and those can, you know, people are searching for that kind of thing as well. Uh, but of course, you know, just publishing content without a traffic strategy isn't going to do too much. Traffic is a huge topic that we can't possibly cover in this short video, but our tips to you are... Number one, study the platform you're publishing to. So if you are focusing on Facebook, for example, learn it inside and out. And that way you do that is through study. There are you know, lots, of, lots of great tutorials. Search the information from the actual site and perhaps purchase a course or something that helps you dig deeper. 
but also through experimentation because everyone's results are going to vary. You're going to learn things that work good, work well and may not work well for others, but you, through experimentation, you'll find that. Just take it one step at a time and realize you don't need to be on every platform, just the best place for you to reach your market. Now, I think that's a mistake that a lot of people make is that they, you know, unless you're a household brand, there's no reason you have to be on, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere. You like in that case, you're a household brand, and people expect to find you there. If you're trying to build an audience, focus on one and really make it work for you. And remember, you always have to funnel that traffic from those platforms back to your own website in a strategic way. You're not just going to post links, but you are going to create a conversation that has you know, that gets them interested in what you have to offer. You also want to learn uh, SEO techniques. SEO stands for search engine optimization, if you didn't already know that. And it's a process of structuring content to rank well on search engines for various keywords. It's an in-depth topic. So if you do need a starter guide, Yusuf actually has a free SEO guide for you. And I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. So do these things and you'll be ahead of most people trying to break into a market and build traffic. But of course, you need to make your traffic more powerful by growing your list, which is our next topic. So traffic is great, but it's fleeting, right? Someone comes, maybe they buy something, but most likely not and they leave and they're gone forever. But if you have a mailing list of people that you can keep sending commercial messages to, it's an absolute must in business. It's much more effective than a social media following when it comes to selling products because it's not so reliant on changing algorithms. And let's face it, people are more open to receiving commercial messages by email than you trying to sell them something in an Instagram post. So just a few reasons why growing your email list is so lucrative. It means you can follow up directly. It allows you to follow up with them and right into their inbox over and over again. And even though not, you know, not everyone is using email, you will find that in most businesses where people are spending money, that is they they are in their inboxes. It also boasts email also boasts high conversions. While blog posts and articles are important for growing traffic and bolstering your reputation they rarely convert as readily as offers sent by email. And this is the important one. It's 100% your own asset. Social media is great, but if you don't own that follower list, you don't, own, you don't actually own that follower list the way you own your email list. Obviously, people can unsubscribe, but it's, it's your asset that you can use. Um, if it, you know, a social media site can close down your account. They can, you know, not show your stuff to, to a good chunk of the audience. And we've all had that happen, right? And if that's not enough, email is cheap. It's dirt cheap. Like it's, you know, you've got an advertising platform because you've built up this lot, uh, audience of subscribers. So for that reason, always make an effort to bring any social media followers or community members onto your list so you can share your amazing products and follow up with them via email. You can also explore other lists like SMS, text messaging, right? And more. But for this tutorial, we're going to talk about building an email list. So we'll just outline, you know, in the brief time we have together, three steps to growing your mailing list. First, create a free offer that will attract your target customer. This is someone who would be interested in buying the products that you promote. You might, you know, and from the kind of content we create for our customers to use, uh, you might use, you know, reports, journals, articles, coloring pages, checklists, or worklets, worksheets to create something useful for them that they're going to want to give up their email address for. Set up a sign up page for the offer. You will need an autoresponder service like AWeber is what we use. A lot of our customers use ConvertKit and that will make it easy for you to collect email addresses and to mail your list. That service will, you know, those services, whatever you sign up for, they give you a copy paste code and you just put it on your website page and then the sign up, uh, the sign up takes place. And of course you need to follow up. 
once you, they sign up, you can use your thank you page and follow up emails to make a special offer, illustrate the benefits of your product and so forth. Follow up is definitely critical and it's part of nurturing your list, which is the next topic. Never grow a list and skip this part. Even when your list is small, practice this. You're going to get better and better at it. So let's talk about nurturing your list. So and in order to keep your subscribers engaged, you'll need to feed them with great content and product offers they can't resist. Now the good news is if you use our done for you content, we can keep you full of it, right? That it saves you a lot of time and money in publishing it. You know, things you can send to your list, uh, like you can send any type of content, obviously, anything you think they'll be interested in. But let's talk about things that would be useful if you're trying to build a uh, subscriber list of customers, potential customers, people who are going to want to buy your product. So you want tutorials and ideas of how to use your product. You'll see that we do a lot of that type of stuff if you need examples. Um, case studies from your customers or your own experiences as well, right? If you learned how to do something or your your customers got certain results, interview them, follow, you know, follow their progress and publish that as content. Give them content that improves their mindset so they're ready to buy and use your product. So, you know, people who might be on the fence or think they don't need this quite yet, they're not ready, you know, help them get ready. Show them how to solve a problem, but then promote the tools or services to get it done. So you say you do step one, step two, step three, but I have this service or I have this tool to make it a whole lot easier. The more you understand your subscribers needs, the easier it'll be to create content that they appreciate and that primes them to buy and use your products. So I hope you found this useful in uh, starting your own, you know, building your own audience online for a business that sells products. Uh, so you're so welcome to come by our website to find more tutorials, done for you content, and you'll find a few handy links in the description of this video as well.